Hey golf fans, this is early 1981 and welcome to Griffin Point. This course was designed by Andrew Hambrick. As you can see, fairways are normal, greens are firm, green speed is fast. As always, we're going to be leaving everything at default. We are playing off the black tees, which are playing 7,353 yards. And as always, pin set number one. Now, once again, great to have come across a new designer whose work we've not featured on the channel previously. But this is a fictional Swiss theme golf course and it is located in Western Wyoming. The designer does go on to say that it has four sets of tees that can challenge the most skilled golfers in the world while creating a fun and enjoyable round for casual golfers. Accuracy off the tee and distance control is a must. The greens can be slick so make sure to be on the correct side of the hole. So, hole number one, par four, playing 487 yards, stroke index two. Absolute fantastic opening hole. I do really enjoy a well-designed Swiss theme course. But I actually feel my swing a bit recently. I've um, been playing a lot um, off camera, guys. But uh, really feeling my swing. So hopefully we can take that into today's game. Good to be feeling confident about your swing. So just allowing the wind to take us round to the centre of the fairway. Still a lot of jarring. I don't know if you guys can see this on the video. But still at times, my game is just not a smooth experience. So that is going to leave us a long iron into this first green. 185 yards, up 6 feet. Once again, just very laggy. Zooming in and out of the green. So we're going to almost fully loft up this 6-iron. Looking for this to land short of the pin. Oh, that's a great strike. This should be bang on. Green should turn back towards the pin. Is it going to hold? It does hold. Sits down eventually. And that is a fantastic approach shot. Use the contours of the green to our advantage. And that is going to set us up with a 6-foot putt. Sorry. Green speeds are 171. Should turn a little bit to the left. And we do manage to pick up a first birdie off the round on the first hole. So great start to this round at Griffin Point. As we do move into hole number two, par five, playing 555 yard stroke index 16. Fantastic looking hole once again. The views are absolutely breathtaking, by the way takes you away from the course. I'm, I'm focusing more on the the snow top mountains there and the winding river that's uh, channeling through this course. But once again, I'm, I'm sorry to be picking up. It's just weird that the flyover is stuttering and it's like going black screen for a few seconds. Just another fantastic swing. Like I said, right at the opening of this video, Noticing a huge difference in my swing. The only thing that I can suggest I've done is maybe slightly move my thumb position in, on an analog stick. I've not intentionally done anything. So kind of in between clubs here. But two would just about get us up to the front of the green depending on the kick. It's a great strike. How's our luck though? It might not make it up. Oh, we were so unlucky there. Another few yards in the air and that ball would have kicked beautifully up. Up towards the, the pin. Actually just trickles off into the, the fringe. But probably for the past six, seven rounds. Since the update, ironically, I've not been swinging well. As well as I can. Very inconsistent. That could drop, you know. Oh, get in. Oh, it's just going to check up short for an eagle. But that is going to ensure we do get a tap in birdie. And we do move to two under par. So great start to Griffin Point. Encouraging first few holes here. Got a feeling I'm really going to enjoy this course. But hole number three, par four, short par four, playing 399 yards. But look at this for a hole. Honestly, guys, some of the courses we have played on the channel recently are absolutely stunning visually and also how to play 
It's going to be a slightly elevated green after their tee shot. So narrow fairways here. I think we've just about got enough yardage here. The fairway slopes uphill. A little gully there. Looking to find that just right there. Should ensure we don't run out of fairway. But there we go. What a huge difference in my swing. Really feeling it. The next video, guys, will be me attempting to beat one of the top players in the world once again in a, a match play event over nine holes on one of the best courses in the world. So 101 yards, up 10 feet, 7 mile per hour wind. Might just have to deal off the sandwich a touch. Oh, huge slope to the right. That wind's just changing on me. Let's reset that. I'm just going to play this vanilla flavour. Not a touch in the yardage of the sandwich at all. Try to land this right at the flag stick. Yardage should be bang on, you know. If the wind does what it suggests. Good start. Oh, I've put a slow on it. With that, it's going to go really right of an intended target. Yardage was going to be decent. That would have been fairly good. That would have left us a good birdie opportunity. I think that's actually held the green. So we do have a 20 foot putt. One foot uphill. This one is going to turn hard left. We can be aggressive with this putt. Let's see if we can slam this in from range. It's got a chance of it holding its line. It is. And that is a fantastic putt from there. Despite not the cleanest of putt lines. But we do pick up our third consecutive birdie of the round and move to three under par. Hole number four. Playing 474 yards. Stroke index four. All the fours here. But once again, very beautiful looking hole. Fairly tight fairway once again. It's going to be a slight dog leg left. Pin is kind of tucked in at the back of the green there. So a 5 mile per hour wind is going to move us to the right. Fairways do have a fair amount of um, slopes and bumps on them. So watch out for that. This should kick right. Very happy with that swing line. There's that kick right. And it is going to set us up for a nice approach shot okay, into this fourth green. It's another long iron. Ooh, I'm going to come down to the six iron. Five irons, far too much. Just going to deal off this a touch with the firm, fast greens. This should travel well for us. That wind should just about help us out. Very pure strike. It's great to be swinging. As this could be good. Oh, it's long. What oh, a huge bounce we took there. These greens are slick. So, first green and regulation that we failed to achieve. So, fully lofting up this lob wedge and just going to chip this as close to the pin as possible. That should turn hard right. Oh, it just stopped dead. Really didn't expect that to stop stone dead on firm fast greens. Could well be a first. That was very unrealistic. But we do tap in first par of the round and we are going to remain at three under. But really impressed with this course so far. Really enjoying this first. Few holes. Hole number five. Par three. First par three of the round so far. Playing 180 yards. Stroke index 10. Bunkers on the left are certainly in play here. Tricky pin location. 6 mile per hour wind. 175. I think with that wind, we're going to have to come down to 8 iron. And we may have to apply a touch of draw here. Just looking to land this on the light rough over the top of this bunker. I think it's the only way we're going to get this close. So just deal off then this 8 iron. That wind's changing on us. Look at it. Picked up to 7. So playing the draw shot, try to come over the top of the bunker and kick this onto the green. Oh, it's a great strike. This is tracking well. Should kick out well. Should kick out well. Is it going to hold? Oh, what a shot that is. Just a little bit more sting in that shot coming out the heavy rough. And we would have been on track for a possible ace there. But an 8-foot putt. Going to turn left. Outside right of the cup. 
it does turn nicely and we do pick up our fourth birdie of the Rhino move to four under par. But really feeling confident within my game again. It's amazing how I think everyone has moments where they're struggling and just not feeling the game. Once again, a bit of a stuttery overhead flyby here. Hole number six, par five, playing 569 yards. Stroke index 18, easiest hole in the course. Certainly a very natural course. If a designer, Andy Mike 8, said that this was a real course in Wyoming, an RCR, I would certainly take his word for it from what I've seen so far. Delay pullback on the, the stick there. It's a thing that's been happening quite often for me. I'll pull my analog stick back and the club won't move for about a second, two seconds. It's as if it's out of sync. But it's another good tee shot. Boom, that 308 yards down the fairway. And that should set us up with a two wood into the six green. Oh, it's like a tabletop green here. It's veering off both ways. Got to try and find the dead center. Of this green. Oh, that slope's moved us perfectly. The wind's starting to kick in. We may just move off to the left here, yet we're going to find that slope. So that's going to leave us a challenging uphill putt. It's probably going to be breaking multiple ways. But as always, guys, I can't thank you all enough for the continued support on the channel. To everyone who views my videos, likes them, even dislikes them. And especially the guys who take the time out to comment on the videos. Thank you very much. Horrible putt line there. I don't think it's going to turn enough. No. Yardage was just about bang on. Very poor putt line there. Just missing out on the eagle. But we do pick up second best prize. And we do move to five under par. So very good first six holes here. Very happy with the outcome. Of everything so far. Hole number seven. Par three playing 222 yards. Stroke index six. Could well be in between clubs here. But I'm really enjoying this course. I think a pure five iron is bang on here with that wind. Just want to land this. Fringe of the green. Front of the green. And it should run out that down slope. On, oh, I've put a slow on it. Certainly didn't feel as if I put a slow on that. With that, it's going to be long and right now. It's going to leave us a good 25 to 30 feet putt for birdie. The slow is really costing us here. 25 feet bang on, down two inches. This is going to turn quite aggressively to the left. It's another putt we can be fairly aggressive with though. Because if we are long... Doesn't look like it's too challenging. That could drop. Has it got the legs? No, it's turned off a little bit too much. Oh, wow, it dropped on the edge. I honestly felt from about three feet out that wasn't going to drop. I thought it was going to turn too much. So it's another really good putt. And we do move into hole number eight. Par four playing 464 yards. Stroke index 12. But once again, blown away by the visual beauty of this course. It just seems that every designer that pops up is throwing out absolute masterpieces of courses that look stunning and play very realistic. So seven mile per hour crosswind. It's another tight fairway. Designer wasn't wrong when he said accuracy off the, the tee box is going to be important. I'm just going to allow that wind to take us round. Very happy with this swing today. Long may it continue. That should kick all the way over to the right hand side. This could well be a wedge into this green depending on the wind. Wind's 8 mile per hour. 142 is going to be pitching wedge. So just going to apply a touch aloft here. And we are looking to land this just on the fairway maybe on the fringe. And this should release forward for us on these firm fast greens. Hopefully set up another birdie opportunity. It's a great strike. Wind should really carry us. It's doing that fantastically. Just find the fringe. 
and that is checked up beautifully. It is going to leave us a five to six foot putt for birdie number seven possibly here. Just a little bit of turn on this one. Good putt, good putt line, good read. And we do convert the birdie and we do move to seven under par. So let's move on to the final hole of the front nine of Griffin Point. And this is a par four playing 416 yards stroke index 14. But honestly, guys, what a fantastic course this is so far. I highly recommend this. Such a relaxing round. Sometimes it's nice not to have to calculate different yardages from elevation gains and drops. And just showcase your iron play. Into tough but flat greens. So we've got a 5 mile per hour wind just setting us down the left hand side. That wind should just about bring us back and hold us to left centre. But it's such a thrill to be swinging like this once again. Bar a couple of slows. I don't think I would have changed anything I've done in this round so far. But that's going to leave us with a gap wedge. 123 yards up 10 feet. Oh, six mile per hour wind's just going to move us. I'm just de-lofting this a touch. This should land short of the pin. Bounce out. Maybe two yards. And sit down perfectly if we execute as well. We've nailed it. Have we called it? Oh, the wind's taking it round beautifully. There we go. Bang on. Could have maybe done with another touch of deal off, but we're going to have about a five foot putt for another birdie. Six feet. But we are throwing absolute darts into these greens. We do convert the birdie. A solid front nine there, to be honest. Could have had a couple of eagles chucked in as well. But we are eight under. Great to get awarded for good play. I think a few of the courses we have played recently have uh, relied on a bit of element of luck as well. Which you need in golf. But it looks like most people are trying to make greens the, the focal point of their courses and have them very challenging. Whereas this course... Is rewarding me for good shots and I'm being punished for poor shots and poor decisions. I don't think we've actually made a poor decision, it's just the, the swing tempo. But this is a shorter par 5. 532 yards, that wind we can just about take on this right edge of the fairway with a clean swing line. Wind should carry as well. Push that right. Oh, look how magnified that push right has become. That is brutal. That doesn't even look as if it's out of swing cone. So finally punished there. Just when I said it was going well, you couldn't make this up. Just going to try and chase this two iron as far down the fairway as possible. We're deal off the nest. Slope's going to take us right. Should leave us a lob wedge, maybe even a pitch. That's came out a lot better than I expected. It's definitely going to be a pitch shot. Didn't expect that to make its way 182 yards down. The fairway with a lie it suggested. So 54 yards. Let's loft up this pitch. Lob wedge. 57 yards. Wind will carry it a tiny little bit. Main important thing here is yardage. Oh, I know I'm swinging well when I'm executing pitch shots like that, guys. Laser beam straight. And a perfect, perfect. Didn't sit down as quickly as I expected. But it has set us up with a four foot putt. And we do pick up a birdie. Very happy to pick up birdie there after finding the bunker on our tee shot. But we do move to nine under par. So, hole number 11, par four, playing 308 yards stroke index 15. But once again, it just goes to show you don't need a million in one add-ons into courses, guys. I mean, this is a fantasy course. It's a realistic fantasy course, I would I would say. But I think we can drive this. No fast required here. Should kick on. Whether or not it's got the yardage to get up near the pin. Excellent swing. How's our luck? But yeah, you don't need waterfalls. You don't need all the, the sideshow um, add-ons that we do have in the game. To make a good course. The course plays very, very smoothly. I am experiencing a few issues, as some of you may see. Kind of seems to settle down now. 
Green's going to be turning left at her feet. This is a tough putt. 50 feet out, one foot uphill. But apart from that, there's nothing I would change about this course. Tell you what, that's got a chance. It should turn back. Have we? Oh, it just didn't turn back as much as we like, would have liked. Yardage was bang on. And we are going to be rewarded with that birdie. So, 10 under par. Hole number 12, par 4, playing 523 yards stroke index 3. I have not had the pleasure of playing any of Andy's previous courses. But I can tell you straight away from the quality of this one. He clearly knows his way around the designer function. But what a stunning hole this is. Why? Look at the mist off there in the distance over the trees below the mountains. Like I say, very natural, stunning Swiss theme course here. So it's a long par 4, playing 523 yards. Wind's going to slightly take us over to the left. I think the fairway may kick to the left here as well. Downhill slightly off the tee box. It's another good clean swing. I actually kicked to the right. Could have kicked left as well. Started to veer left there, but we're bang in the center off the fairway. Ooh, this is a tough shot. I'm going to have to deal off this hybrid ever so slightly due to that wind and the, the way the green is sloping and turning. Oh, we've executed that well. Oh, how's that going so far left? Oh, yardage was bang on to. I can't explain how that four mile per hour wind moved us as left as what it did. I maybe didn't pay attention to the ball at my feet as much as I should have. But why? Quite bizarre. But we are left with a chip shot here from 12 yards out. Not a huge turn in the green. Good attempt. Like I say, I know I'm swinging well when I'm playing my chip shots and flop shots like that. We do pick up a solid par there. That was a difficult hole, that one. With the, the pin selection and the yardage. Should I say pin position, not selection. But hole number 13, par 3, playing 191 yards, stroke index 5. Really loving the par threes. There's lots of variety in this course, guys. Short par fours, long par fours, long par fives, fairly short par fives. Same with the par threes. So it's got everything you crave for in a round of golf. Variation. So just going to deal off the six iron. I think that makes it quite comfortably. Oh, what a strike. Hopefully we are rewarded with this. This should hit this slope and hopefully run out fairly well. Go on, get in the hole. Please sit now. Please sit. Oh, what an attempt. And if you haven't already done so, guys, please spam the like button if you appreciate good golf. Because that was a fine shot. So unlucky not to get the ace there. But we'll pick up the birdie. And we mill. Mill? Why, some of my pronunciations today, guys, have been hilarious. It's will. Move to 11 under par, not mill. <laughs> So, hole number 14, par 4, playing 473 yards, stroke index 9. But just blown away with this course, to be honest. It's just a natural, beautiful course. Planting, writing, landscaping, placement, and layout of the course is just superb. And the fact that this has been done on the PS4 rather than a, a powerful PC. Makes it all that a little bit more special. We just applied a touch of draw there, letting the wind counteract it. Should find center of the fairway. But so, so happy with my swing. And like I said, guys, earlier a few holes ago, I will be taking on one of the best players on the TGC Tours on a world-famous course and a nine-hole match play event in the next coming days. So if you haven't already done so, please hit the subscribe button because you certainly don't want to miss this. So we're just lofting up this six iron. That wind's picked up. If we're too far right here, 
it's going to leave us an awkward putt. It's another slow, so we are going to be right. Ah, that was going to be bang on to. But it doesn't matter how many slows I still encounter. It's it's just comical that the ball go, travels further. I mean, come on, in real life, if I'm swinging slower, I'm hitting the ball shorter. So it's going to be another chip shot from 11 yards out. Hopefully this one doesn't stop stone dead like the one a few holes ago did. Unlucky. Yardage was good. Not the best of swing lines, but... It's going to leave us a simple tap in for part. We are going to remain 11 under. But I'll certainly be looking out for more courses from Andy Mike 8. It's great to showcase as many designers as you can. Because as you can see... There is so much talented designers out there. We are so fortunate to have these guys prolonging the life of this game. And hopefully future games. Hole number 15, par 3, short par 3. 137 yards. 9 mile per hour wind, down 10 feet. Just going to have to de-loft this gap wedge. And as you can see, we're applying a fair amount of draw. Just looking to land this short of the pin and hopefully release out. This is going to be a test of the swing. But it's another stunning hole. What a swing that is. I couldn't ask for any better. Oh, this is bang on. This is dialed in. Look at the water up here, guys. This is sublime, this course. Sat down a little bit quicker than we'd have liked. I expected a little bit of run out there. Must have just caught a tiny uphill slope. No, we didn't. So for firm, fast greens that sat down very quickly. But we are rewarded once again with another birdie. This course definitely going to reward you for good shots, guys. And I think that as players, that's what we crave for. I've certainly been punished for slows and poor shots. So you've got the balance there. Plenty of variation. The course is just stunning. Hopefully that water part that we've seen there from the par 3. I would imagine that's going to be the 17th and 18th that that's going to come into play. Because we've certainly not crossed paths with that yet. It's another tight fairway here in the 16th. Playing 480 yards. Wind just picking up a little bit. Well plays bunker in the middle. I'm just going to try and come down the right hand side here. That wind should just about bring us to the right of the bunker, avoiding the light rough or heavy rough. Beautiful swing. There's the wind kicking in. Probably going to kick a little bit to the right, but we've played that as well as we could, and that is going to leave us an 8 iron possibly. Mind you, we've got a 7 mile per hour wind. Ooh. There's a slope at the back of the, the pin we could use. I'm just going to deal off this 8 iron. I shouldn't be too long here. I'm actually just trying to land this as close to the flag stick as possible. If it does run out, we do have the insurance of that slope. It's another fast. That's going to be long left now. That slope may just about do us a favour. It should actually come back off of that. It's going to work out well, but that is not the shot I intended, guys. But once again, that fast. Just pulling us to the left and Arden a good few yards onto our shot. Otherwise, I think that would have been bang on. But 10 foot putt, downhill, downhill 2 inches. This is going to turn fairly aggressive to the right. Don't think we've allowed enough for the break there. And that's going to overshoot right, three, on the high side. But we do pick up a solid par. Happy to walk away with par there. Once again, I'm being punished for poor swing tempo. And we are going to remain at 12 under. So I am hoping now that this war is kind of going to be coming in play. Must be the A team then. So, hole number 17, par 4, playing 453 yard stroke index 11. But there's so many holes here that could be classed as a feature hole, to be honest. There's two or three easy. But this is just such a great course to play. Very relaxing. Like I say, not not a lot of elevation drops or gains, which is quite um, nice to play. Like I said, you're not racking your brains every shot. And I think we've been... Great. Fairly lucky with the wind conditions. Jeez, oh, I think I've been playing in high to very high winds for the past six, seven, eight rounds, to be honest. It's another good tee shot. 
prime location to go and attack this 17th pin. So 155 yards up five. So let's say it's playing 159. I'm just going to opt to drop down to the nine iron, deal off this a few touches, allow that wind to take its round. Quite a few obstacles in the green slopes to to conquer here. I think this is the right club. Let that wind naturally fade the ball round and we should have enough yardage to run up this slope. Oh, this is beautiful. I'll tell you now it's beautiful. Hopefully that sits down. It does sit down. Some of our approach shots today, guys, have been nothing but phenomenal, to be honest. And we are going to have a five-foot tap-in putt for the birdie. We do convert that, and we pick up birdie number 13. And let's move on to the final hole of this fantastic golf course, Griffin Point. Certainly want to go and play this one, guys, if you haven't already done so. And here we are. Here is the water coming in play. There's the par 3 that we seen earlier. But absolutely stunning. Oh, waterfall and everything off there in the distance. Clubhouse as well. We will get a closer look at that, I would imagine. But look at that. What a stunning hole to finish this stunning course. Absolutely fantastic. So, so impressed. But let's have a look at this waterfall. Wow. Very cool clubhouse. Right on the 18th green too. Absolutely stunning. Let's see if we can finish with birdie here then. We've got a 10 mile per hour wind. Once again, tight fairway. Bunkers in playing the right. Water in playing the left. Let me try and put on a fast here. Oh, didn't get it fast. I'm going to end up more on the right hand side of this fairway. This is going to be a tough approach shot into this green. I'm telling you right now, that wind is going to be awkward. So 201 yards, that wind, water and play. Oh, look at that pin position. Ooh. I think we're going to have to attack this with a fully lofted hybrid. This takes guts, guys. I'm just going to allow that 11 mile per hour wind to bring us round. So we're aiming right at the water here. You need to put on a clean strike here. Hopefully the wind brings us round, holds us up. I still think we might have a bit too much club. What a strike, by the way. Oh, this should be bang on. Once again, stuttering in the, in the air. And I can assure you that's got nothing to do with the course. We were along. I don't know what other club we could have hit there. Five iron would have came up short. Let's see. Oh, this is makeable. From the fringe. There shouldn't be too much of a break in this. It is breaking both ways slightly. Don't want to overshoot this, though. That needs to hold its line. Oh, it's turned off. Turned off towards the edge. Last few feet. I've actually shot that about five, six feet past. Oh, I would have loved to have birdied that hole. Got a seven foot putt. Uphill. For the part. We do drop that putt on the edge. And that is a 58, I do believe. 13 under. But there we go. Griffin point by Andy Mike. What a fantastic course. That, without a shadow of a doubt, guys, for me, is going to be a favourite and a five star. But I really hope you did enjoy this video. If you did, please hit the like button. And if you are new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. And until the next video... Take care, peace out, and love you all. Bye.